What's going on party people? It's Pete with Backdraft Bikes doing a review today on a super exciting bike. This is a 2021 Indian Chieftain Springfield Edition, Dark Horse Edition. Let's see if I did this right. Indian Springfield Dark Horse Chief Edition. Thanks for joining me again. Hey, I appreciate you supporting the channel. I do have some new merch in. If you want to wear one of these cool shirts and look spiffy while doing it and supporting a good cause, please check out the link in the description for our merchandise. What in the wide world of sports? This is one of their custom bikes, the demo uh, from the factory. And it's cool, man. I mean, this bike is bad looking. It is long, it is raked and it's got some pretty cool custom features on it it's got a custom exhaust side bags uh, and also of course the little ape hangers so i'm excited to try this bike uh the gentleman from the factory gave me a few stats on the bike again similar to the other indians that i've uh test driven it's a big bike okay uh, the bike weighs about 800 pounds full of fuel and oil it's uh you know got a massive monster engine in this thing. This one makes 126 foot-pounds of torque uh, and it's got the keyless ignition as well and uh, a saddle that will accommodate a passenger. So all in all pretty cool looking bike, really retro and the murdered out touch which who doesn't like the murdered out touch. Fatality. Another neat thing about this bike I noticed different from the regular Dark Horse is it has an actual analog fuel gauge. Multifunction display on the bottom of the speedometer and uh, everything's controlled uh, by some pretty intuitive controls. There is a button for your finger. I'll just show right here, a trigger finger button. There we go. Um, that cycles through the menus and there's another one on the other side. So all in all kind of cool, but let's uh, get on this bike and see what it feels like, shall we? Forward controls, the same as the other Indian Chief models uh really cool handlebars on this though i'm up tall hit the power button for the keyless fob situation cycles the gauges here we go and let's fire this baby up <laughs> oh listen to that wow so nice this bike sounds so much better than the other one because of the mufflers Besides, it's got the big handlebars on it. Kind of cool. All right. Welcome to downtown Loudoun, New Hampshire Motor Speedway. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. oh attitude right in your face. Yeah. Wow, really nice. Really nice. Oh, and the brakes are good on this one, too. Oh, yeah. Woo! bike this bike certainly gets out of its own way that's for sure it handles good it's got good brake feel uh, again a big bike but certainly does not have those man the manners uh, that uh, make it feel like it's a large bike. It's rather pleasant. The ri high riser handlebars here are nice as well. A little bit better than the lower slung low rise handlebars. I feel more comfortable with this. I'm a tall guy. I'm six foot four, so uh, this feels a little bit more at home. I've actually never ridden a bike with with uh, these big huge risers on before so <laughs> this is kind of a unique experience i actually feel dare i say like i'm piloting some sort of craft oh yeah that's 
the sound of freedom, boys. gets out of its own way for sure it's a large bike but it doesn't have the manners of uh, of being a big huge tank I do feel like I'm driving like a deuce and a half army truck though this thing is just a tank the ape hangers are nice you can kind of let your body uh, pull back sink back into the seat and uh, I don't feel as crunched as I did on the Dark Horse regular edition. Uh, this bike definitely uh, has a much more comfortable riding position than the other one. You know, Polaris, or dare I say Polaris, Indian uh, has really done a good job with these bikes, making them a little bit more user-friendly, a little bit a little bit more uh, within the reach of the average consumer. Uh, the price on this one, as it sits, is 22500 So it's, I mean, that's with the bags, that's with everything. So it's really an affordable package for somebody that's trying to get into riding, want to buy a cruiser, and, uh, you know, you, you just can't spend $30,000 on a bike which is something that Harley needs to learn. People want to ride, but they need, wow, that was super close. So here's a 180 degree corner. And going up the hill, this bike actually feels a little light in the front end. Uh, that's a lot of power. So yeah, this is uh, this bike has a nice, it's got a nice package. It's a nice balance between, I want to have a nice ride, looking out but then I'm gonna give it a little attitude I'm gonna put some loud exhaust on it I'm gonna put these handlebars on it can they get some rise out of it and I like that we've got a little patch here uh, of road that's twisty and turny I'll go over a few of the things the rep told me about uh, one of the nice things about this the Springfield model is again this analog fuel gauge which may not seem like a really big deal uh, I have the fuel display in the multifunction but uh, the gauge is nice because at a quick glance you can see okay where are we at for fuel uh, instead of trying to cycle through a display the uh, display I currently have is set up it has a gear indicator on it which is nice it has the RPMs which is nice uh, and it has a little clock as well so you know what time it is you know how late you are to wherever you're going uh, good visibility out of the mirrors that's probably due to the fact that the you know the handlebars are up at least 12 inches from the other model uh, and this this model the other model you're you're sitting back a little more like this this model you're kind of sitting a little bit more forward because your arms have to reach up to grab the bars so it forces you to sit a little bit differently which is kind of nice all right we'll cruise through uh, the rest of this ride I'm gonna catch you on the back side of the speedway and we'll crack the throttle open again and I'll give you a, a what's up. So the suspension on this bike is nice. It seems like it's a good balance between sport and comfort. Uh, I certainly am not feeling the bumps like I would on a sport bike, but they are there, obviously. Uh, I don't think this bike would wash out too quickly over uh, a bump situation in a corner. So that's nice. We don't have the greatest roads up here in Maine. And of course, I like the brakes on this one. We have dual rotors in the front, uh, single rotor in the back, obviously. And uh, the brakes on this feel much more responsive than some of the other offerings. So if uh, Sasquatch was about to run across the road here, I'd, I'd be able to stop rather quickly uh, without worrying about uh, hitting him or going into a skid. So really nice job on Indian for the brake situation. All in all, this bike is sweet. If I was gonna buy one of these cruiser bikes, it'd probably be this bike, just because I like the way the, look, the handlebars are. I like the fact that it's got some upgraded brakes on it. It's got really nice side luggage on it, side bags that come with it standard. 
and uh, the price point again you can't you can't beat it 22 22 5 I mean that's amazing here we are we're at the back of the speedway let's pull in here negotiate this corner again little burble on the exhaust when you let off kind of nice the transmission on this I believe was designed by Jeep because it feels super solid when you're engaging it I mean you know you changed gears and listen to that noise <laughs> little back popping very pleasant there we go In the cruiser category, this bike seems to hit check all the boxes. Here we go. You ready? Full throttle. Yeah. That's fast. This bike has got some power, I'll tell you. Much, much more design from uh, difference from the other bike I just rode, the Dark Horse Standard Edition. The Springfield's really got a little bit of pep to it. I like it. And that noise sounds like you're starting up like a rotary aircraft. <laughs> well, anyways, folks, on a scale of 1 to 10 uh, for a cruiser, I'd give this bike a solid 9. I'd give this bike a solid 9. This, this bike really does a good job uh, checking the boxes off on the cruiser category like I said well let me know do you have one of these bikes you thinking about buying one throw a comment down in the comment section I'd love to hear from you I'd like to hear your experience with it if you own one of these how do you like it over the long run we'd love to hear that as well until next time please be safe <laughs>